Hi Leo, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This is going to be your self-care reading for the month of September 2023, where I'll be taking a look at what we need to accept, adapt, withdraw and embrace. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. I'm going to get one card for each of the energies and then we'll get clarifiers for each of them. So Leo, in, your, in, in our accept position, we have the hanged one. And the question in relation to this position is, what are we repressing and must accept to be able to move forward? So I feel like when it comes to this hanged one energy, um, I feel like Leo, there is a need for you to pause before you take action towards anything, whether it's a professional situation or a you know, a personal situation, um, there is a need for you to see things from a different perspective and perhaps, uh, you know, give it, give the situation some time or um, distance yourself and observe things. And maybe this is something that you're not doing. And um, especially there is a need for you to see things from a different perspective because this is in the accept uh, position. Now, in, in the adapt uh, uh, position, we have the seven of pentacles. And the question in relation to this is, what in our life needs to change? And it seems like, Leo, you've been investing in something and you've been waiting for results. But your investment, as in whether it, it's in terms of time, effort, energy, or, you know, um, money, there's something about your investment and the way you're... Uh, putting your resources to use that needs to change. Uh, what you need to withdraw or distance yourself from is either a certain cat person in your life with the emperor. This could be a, a masculine energy if, you know, irrespective of the gender, how, how, do, you, how do we recognize masculine energies? They're action oriented, very active. Um, this could also be an aspect of yourself, Leo, that you need to withdraw. From, and that is essentially controlling a situation, uh, controlling a situation or trying to control the energies because that is what the emperor is known to do. Um, other, than, other than this message, if it comes to distancing yourself, maybe there is a need for you to take a break from uh, if you have been in a position of great responsibility and you know you feel like you haven't had time out. So... Maybe there is a need for you to, you know, just go somewhere, let your hair down and, you know, not to control the situation for a short while, uh, for the time being, now, for now, for your own good. And in the embrace position, we have the Ten of Swords. And the question in relation to this is, what can we learn to accept more lovingly? So it seems like, Leo, you're going through an ending with somebody and... I'm saying somebody because uh, this needs to be accepted in a loving manner. So perhaps the people or the person that you're going through and ending with, uh, you know, what the message essentially here is that the ending doesn't need to be bitter or it doesn't necessarily need to uh, leave a bitter taste in your mouth. Rather, it can be more of a learning experience and something that we take you know, a learning lesson from because this is there in the in the embrace position. So I'm not sure, Leo. Let's get clarifiers. Uh, we start with the hanged one. Why is uh, the hanged one the energy that you must accept? Accept. So we have the King of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the World.
So I feel like there is a situation that you're involved in, Leo, which is quite burdensome, uh, you know, energetically, and there's conflict, there's other people involved, and it seems like there's some unfinished business. Now, this is to do with a loved one because the King of Cups is here. So, you know, maybe you feel a lot of love for this person or whoever you're dealing with, and there is a need for you to let burden downs and overcome a certain conflict before closing off a cycle because the world is here because a cycle is around the corner but it's in reverse because you know something is being repressed and i'm not sure uh, what exactly this world in reverse is about and what is uh, you know the issue that needs to be resolved but there is something that you need to see from a different perspective especially when it comes to this loved one where there has been conflict and a sense of heaviness and this will perhaps let you you know this will help you relieve some of the burden maybe if you were to um, distance yourself maybe you're very involved uh, over the king of cups you know there's a need for you to love somebody from a distance uh, let's look at the seven of pentacles in the adapt position why the seven of pentacles so we have the temperance the Empress and the King of Pentacles. So, you know, th there's something about healing a connection between you and a significant other with the Empress and the King of Pentacles. I don't know who is which, whether you're the Empress and your person is, the, the person you're dealing with is showing up as the King of Pentacles or whether it's you who's the King of Pentacles and the other person, the Empress. But there is something about healing the connection between the two of you and you know and about investing time effort and energy and the way things have been it's essentially there needs to be a change in the way you have been handling this connection leo you know because this is the question in relation to this position is what in our life needs to change and these are all positive energies you know the empress and the King of Pentacles and the Temperance, perhaps the method, you know, because over here there's somebody who's putting in all the time, effort, and energy, but is not so happy with the results. So there's something about when it comes to healing a connection with somebody, it's it could be related to, you know, stability, you know, resources, finances, but there's something about investment. Maybe you need to look at where, you know, you're investing. Also, maybe if you are not investing time, effort and energy into healing a connection, maybe there is a need to, you know, with the temperance showing up. So this is a very, this is an angel-like card. So maybe you've been ignoring a certain healing that needs to occur between you and somebody. And it's, we have seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So maybe, you know, maybe you need to prioritize or, if not prioritize, prioritize would be the two of pentacles. Maybe you need to redirect your efforts to bring about further positive results. Now let's look at the emperor and why it's in the withdrawal position. So we have the six of swords, the three of swords and the devil. So... Now, there is a connection. You see here, we have the Empress and the Emperor. So, you know, Leo, I feel like maybe you believe that somebody is, you know, your better half as the Empress. But I feel like, you know, with the devil showing up and, you know, the emperor here, this could also be the other person you're dealing with, but there is something toxic between the two of you, unhealthy, there is, you know, hurt, there is heartache, and there is a need to move things to calmer waters. And, you know, it seems like the best way to make peace and, you know, overcome this conflict and sense of heaviness is by, you know, accepting and 
you know, distancing yourself. You need to withdraw your energy, not be so involved in the situation. Because with the devil, I feel like you're, you get sucked into this connection or whoever you're dealing with. And there is a need for you to not try to control the situation or the person or even the outcome. You know, and rather distance yourself from taking on this role of making things work. If things have to work, they will work, you know. It's not always your job to make things work, even though you're showing up as an emperor, but because you need to withdraw from it. So maybe perhaps it's not your job to make things work because the devil is here. There has to be a recognition between you and the other person that there is something toxic and both have to come midway, you know, and you both are showing up. And with the temperance, you know, there is an approach. There is a need to take a middle path. You know, instead of going to extremities. So I feel like, you know, Leo, maybe you have been very extreme about something with the devil. But because the temperance is there in the position that needs to adapt, you need to take the middle path. Whether it is dealing with the pain, whether it is even about, you know, detaching or whether it's about healing, everything needs to be in moderation. Uh, let's look at the... Uh, Ten of Swords, which is the ending that you need to embrace. So we have the Hermit, the Four of Swords, and the Five of Cups. So, you know, there is something that is over, and there is distance and separation between you and somebody, and there is a need for you to, you know, with, with, with the Hermit here, there is a need to look at past experiences and take away learning lessons and meditate upon it, you know, and understand, you know, what, what can be salvaged and what cannot be. And this is what needs to be embraced. Some retrospection, retrospection, meditation over an ending and, you know, something that has, caused you much disappointment and another person and what can be taken away from the situation you know with the two of cups all is not lost we do have the temperance here with the two of cups there and we have the six of swords for making peace so you know maybe this cycle can end in a healthy way and you and this person can start afresh on a new in a new cycle within a with in a fresh dynamic so leo this is what i have for you if you're still watching thank you for your patience uh thank you for watching sharing liking and subscribing and i will catch you again soon later and uh, bye